As, as somebody who you know travels and speaks about issues such as world views and yeah. um, biblical apologetics, how important is it? How important is it for you to ensure that this kind of talk and these kinds of discussions about world views and whatnot don't stay stuck in the academe but make its way down to the local church setting? Oh, it's absolutely critical because I believe fundamentally the church is the greatest agent of change the world has ever seen. Historically speaking, through humanitarian efforts, and it was Mark Twain who once said that history does not repeat, but it does rhyme. And when you look at the course of human history, through all the suffering and all the inequalities, it was the gospel message that all human beings are equally sinners, but all equally offered redemption. That gives you the sense of equality. And that's what changed the Roman Empire from a slave state to a republic that eventually gave everyone their rights. Then it was the Christians who went in and helped the plague ships, uh, people who were infected with plague, and they got plagued themselves. Fast forward 1,500 years, 500 years, whatever it is, and you find Christians going into Ebola-infested Africa, and they're actually getting Ebola themselves to help people. So you see the hands of the church affecting people through um, the centuries, but you also see the mind of the church right. affecting people for positive change. And right now we're experiencing in our day a battlefield of the mind mm. where the questions are swirling and the answers are being given. And the church, the greatest agent of change there is, needs to offer answers that aren't just feel good, but make you feel good because they're true and give them credibility to a world that's dying to know, is this gospel worth believing?